Supreme Championship Wrestling, Episode 2. Oh, yeah. For the Episode 2, we're, and we're, we're going to got a great show for you guys tonight. And we're kicking things off with the appearance, the first appearance of our general manager of SCW. It's Stephen Palmer making his first appearance on Supreme Championship Wrestling. And there he is, Stephen Palmer, the general manager of SCW. So excited to be the general manager. So excited for SCW. Somebody get this man a microphone. He's got stuff to say. There you go. We stole some microphones from WWE. <laughs> they weren't using them. What does the general manager have to say? Excited to get started. of matches for you guys tonight, including our opening contest. We have Aaliyah kicking off NXT. What? Aaliyah's out of NXT. She's gone. And she's here on SCW. She takes on the Empress of Tomorrow. Atsuka. It's our first match of the night. Next. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. DDT already off the bat by Asuka. She knows how big of a deal this is. Both these ones making their debuts here in SCW. Oh, nice, beautiful arm drag there by the Cat's Meow. Aaliyah. This commentator just burped in. Oh, Jesus. Asuka sending Aaliyah out to the outside like she was yesterday's garbage. Gonna bring her back in the ring. Oh, nice 
this arm drag takedown by Asuka. Asuka having the experience advantage here in this match. The tech and the, the speed advantage. The tech she's got all the advantages. Aaliyah? Aaliyah? I, I don't know what Aaliyah has, but she better find it. Asuka's gonna eat her up. You know what I'm saying? Asuka is not someone to mess around with. Oh, you see it right there with the shoulder breaker. Oh, but a nice takedown by, by Aaliyah. Taking it to Asuka here. Cats meow, she'll, uh, she'll scratch you up. Leah can hang, can hang the best of them. You can, you just gotta give Aaliyah time to... I'm gonna say process. I'm gonna say process. Oh, clothesline in the corner. Oh, nice belly to back suplex by the Cats Meow of SCW. Yes, sir. Ooh, and an arm drag. Ooh! What could Asuka be thinking here? Aaliyah's up pretty high. Up. Up! Aaliyah with a nice elbow to the face. Look at Aaliyah! The cross body! Nice move there. Aaliyah flying across the sky. Ooh, and a nice roundhouse kick. I'm telling you, Aaliyah can pull. She, she can do this. She can beat Asuka. She's just got to stay on her. Kurt Hawkins beat Drew McIntyre in his debut match. Earning himself five points towards the, world, towards the opportunity to become the first world champion. And still, fans, oh, the hip attack there by Asuka. Fans still can't believe that Kurt Hawkins won that match. So if that can happen, oh, oh, Leah may have jumped too early. No, Asuka, oh, with a full rotation and the hip attack. Asuka has to cover, and Leah takes that. Uh -oh. Asuka got the arm there. Oh, she may have broken Aaliyah's shoulder, my God. Headlock and the commentator here will be right back. Just give him a few seconds. Asuka, where she wants her. Wow! What a, it was a somersault cutter, that's what that was. It was a somersault cutter. And Aaliyah may have to win here. What an upset this would be! Oh no! Asuka kicks out. Asuka kicks out. Thought Aaliyah had that win there. Asuka again. What is this? Look at Aaliyah. She's got Asuka all, all kinds of tied up. Wow, what innovation on the ropes there. You can only hold that for so long. Oh, and a nice boot to the face to finish it. Oh, wow. What a forearm. Get wrecked, Asuka. I have to say. I am very impressed with Aaliyah here tonight. She's taking it to Asuka. She's taking it to the Empress, and I don't think the Empress saw this coming. I don't think she was expecting this much fight out of Aaliyah. We are talking some smack in her face. And a German suplex! That's what she gets for talking smack in her face. Asuka with another suplex! 
And now Asuka beginning to build momentum. Oh, look at that. Nice body scissors, but Aaliyah's legs are on the rope there. It was a nice move by Asuka. Oh, Aaliyah's got her. The DDT! Up at the top of Asuka's head. And here comes Aaliyah, building momentum. Oh, nice kick. She's got Asuka stunned for a moment there, but she's still got her stunned. Nice Northern Lights by Aaliyah. She should have went for the bridge there, in my opinion, but the other cover nonetheless, but a kick out. She would have, she probably would have won if she went for the bridge there. Aaliyah's got Asuka where she wants her. Uh, here we go again. Is Aaliyah actually going to pull this off? Another somersault cutter by the Canadian superstar. And here we go. Aaliyah into the cover. Puts the leg. And off the kick on again. I thought she had her all that offense put together. Oh, just to have it spit in her face. I should laugh at her. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm also going to comment if this happens. <laughs> 81! almost stole one. Sorry. Aaliyah. Oh, no. oh. Aaliyah was looking for a Jorge Corana. Now Asuka. Off the ropes for one. Big over with a hip attack. Hey, wait a minute. What is, what is Bailey doing here? What is Bailey doing here? She's not scheduled for tonight. How'd she get here so fast? Oh, look at Aaliyah! Look at Aaliyah! Rev! Rev! Wait a minute! Bailey off the distraction, and Aaliyah trying to steal it here! Oh! Oh, Asuka got out. She almost had it. She almost had it. She's got to do more. And now, why is Bailey in the ring? Why is Bailey in the ring? What's going on? Oh, she's out of the ring. What is going on here? Back to the regular schedule, but back to the schedule. And Asuka, the DDT. My goodness. So many questions are, un are unanswered now. But now Asuka has the Asuka lock on Aaliyah. Oh, it's that, that chicken wing on cross. Oh, oh and Aaliyah's captain. It's over. Asuka wins. That was a great match and a we big win for Asuka. Asuka. She looks to be one of the main women to compete for the women's championship. And, but the biggest question is, why did Bailey come out and distract Asuka? I know she almost Asuka that win there. I guess more questions will be answered as time goes on. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we will hear from the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. What does the Panama City Playboy have to tell us that is the FCW Universe? What's he's got on his, what does he have on his mind? Looks like we're going to find out in a few moments, right here live on Supreme Championship Wrestling TV. That didn't sound right coming out of my mouth. Just pretend I didn't say that. Adam Cole is, Jesus, what is he doing? Adam Cole already in there. What is he doing? Did you see his facial expression change so quickly?
What is he doing? Is this Adam Cole? He needs a, he needs a chair, apparently. He needs a chair. Adam Cole needs a chair. That's what he's asking for. Somebody get this man a chair. I don't know if it's got Adam Cole all riled up to be running around in the ring like this, but I'm telling you, Adam Cole is embarrassing himself. This is not Adam Cole. This is not how he talks on the microphone. I don't believe this. I don't believe this is the real Adam Cole. Somebody get this man some pills. Can you like not? Sorry, I had a. Who's this guy? Who is this guy? Head. Why are you on your knees? What the hell is he talking about? Now I will believe that is something Adam Cole says. He, he, he just said it too. Adam Cole is not out here to tell people cereal like the New Day. He's here to win. Adam Cole, as bizarre as that was, can't take Adam Cole lightly. That man will beat you in a heartbeat. Sometimes he'll take his time with it, but. not count the leader of the Undisputed Era out. He is here to win and make a name for himself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Undisputed. Wow. Switching gears here in SCW, we're getting set for our, for our first night of action with the men. And that's right. Two men looking to get a shot at championships. Man, the man who just loves a good fight, Oni Lurkin, looks to get some points for the television championship match. But he's got to get to Ari Adabari first. And if Ari Adabari wins, he gets some points towards the, being the first junior heavyweight champion. Who's going to pick up some points? Lurkin or Adabari? We'll find out next on SCW. Kind of got a little chip on his shoulder, if you know what I mean. His brother made an appearance one time. Doug was he was there. Here we go, Oni and Arya Davari making their debuts here in SCW, looking to pick up some points. I, for one, am a fan of Oni. I'm a fan. I won't be cheering him on, saying he'll win, because I'm a commentator. And I have to win. I'm fine with that, but I am a fan of Oni. I'm a fan of Davari, too. I like Davari. Davari's got some great, great skills in his arsenal. Look at that drop kick. See what I mean? Oni, he, he's just a roughhouse. He'll just... He'll just show up one day, say he wants to fight you, and then a drop kick by Davari. Look at him go. He'll just show up one day, say if he challenges you, he'll challenge you, and then he'll just have no time at all to wait. And then if he does have the challenge with you, he'll just pop you straight in the mouth. He won't think twice about it. He won't say, hey, can I punch you, or I'm going to punch you. He'll punch you. <laughs> Oni is a no-nonsense superstar that'll straight up say, Jesus. <laughs> he won't say that. He'll say, I'm going to kick your ass. And then he does it. Doesn't matter if he wins or loses. He just wants a good challenge. Thing can be said for a lot of superstars in SCW. Superstars like Drew McIntyre, Pete Dunne, Arya Davari right here tonight. Oh, nice move by Oni Lorcan. Oni Lorcan, he's all about the brawl and he loves to punch people in the mouth, take it to him, but do not count out his other skills in the ring. He can, he can fly. He goes over, he goes to the top often. Look at him go, look at that ground and pound by Oni Lurkin. He's got some technical skills in him too. Now, Oni is also a former Combat Zone Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. That's the former champion, goes in the cover, but Ari Davari kicks out at one. Oni 
has been all over Pro Wrestling Gorilla. He's had some great matches there with superstars like the Young Buck, Super Dragon, and Kevin Owens. Davari, a superstar. 205 Live in the WWE now here in SCW. Looking to make a name for himself here in SCW's Junior Heavyweight Division. He's had great matches with superstars like Mustafa Ali. Look at that clothesline. He also had that I forfeit match with Jack Gallagher. Pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was great. Nope. Nice kick in the back by Oni Lorkin. Second match in SCW. We got a lot more in store for you guys, including the, with the main event being a six man over the top rope junior heavyweight battle royal. Yep. Six man, six man, six men from the junior heavyweight division going at it. See who's going to pick up those important, very important five points. The junior heavyweight match, junior heavyweight championship match. Takes it to Ari Davari. Ari Davari cannot catch a break here. No, oh, never mind. Let's go for some. Oh, clothesline! Got aggressiveness. That's what he needs if he wants to take. If he wants to beat Oni, he's got to be aggressive. Does the Persian Lion? What's he waiting on? Why is he wasting time? DDT, nice. There's nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned Jake the Snake Roberts-like DDT. Now if you put some finesse into it, <laughs> it's a whole different story. Look at this clothesline in the corner. All right, Amari is looking pretty good. Another cover there. A kick out by the Nate man from Boston, Massachusetts. Drops Safari. Could be time for one of Oni's signature moves here. Could be time for one of his big moves. He's running. Blockbuster! Beautiful neck breaker by Oni Lorcan in the cover on Ari Davari. Oh! That was very close, very close. Oni Lorcan almost picked up those five points right there. Remember, you get five points if you win by pinfall. And now Oni, it could be time. Got Davari. Here we go. Half and half. So glad. Half and half. No one does it better than Lorkin. We pick up those five points. Ari Davari's down and out. The cover by Oni. And he got it. Five points. Five points. Five points for Oni Lorkin and a big win in his career. play here. Davari did take it to Oni and I think that's basically what Oni wanted. I think he wanted Davari to bring out I think he wanted him to bring out his aggressive side and that's what Oni got. See the fight they had on the outside. Look at Davari go with these highlights here. Davari took it to Oni but it just wasn't enough. As you see right here the running blockbuster. Very impressive move by Oni. See, he's got some uh, he's got some agility in him. A big reckless superstar. The big win. Oni Congratulations Lorkin. to Oni Lorkin. He picks up those five points towards the opportunity to become the first television champion. That's the title he chose when he signed here to SCW. Title he's going to stick with. Coming up next, we got some more tag team action for you guys. Roger Strong and Kyle O'Reilly of the Undisputed Era take on Koya, Sakamoto, and Agent Lee different superstars from different countries. And with Adam Cole and Bobby Fish in the corner of the Undisputed Era, what's going to be the outcome of this soon-to-be explosive tag team match? And the big question is, 
who's going to pick up some points towards the opportunity to be the first World Tag Team Champions. we find out next on SCW. They must think that if they go like that, they'll, uh, they'll get some fans behind them. But the fans are definitely behind the Undisputed Era, despite their tactics. Roderick Strong going to start off in the Undisputed Era as Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, and Adam Cole look on. Remember, Adam Cole and Bobby Fish aren't the legal competitors in this match. As Roderick Strong is taking it to Sakamoto. Sakamoto, a veteran in Japan. They call him the Faceless Dragon in his, in his home country. The very technically sounded superstar Sakamoto. His signature submission. He's got a lot of submissions in his arsenal. And his signature one, the Ying Yang hold. Missing the knee there. And, 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 and look at the jawbreaker there by Sakamoto. His partner, Avic Lee from India. The high flyer of the group who brings the speed. And the Sakamoto is a former multiple time junior heavyweight champion. He's won multiple junior heavyweight titles all over Japan. Roger Strong leading to the crowd here. They missed that stomp there. Roger Strong wasting too much time. Here we go again. Roger Strong. Falcon Arrow. Lafayette has got to capitalize here. If he doesn't think of something soon, it's going to be all undisputed error. Look at the strength of Roger Strong. Outside there. The tag has been made. Here it comes. Advic Lee. Advic is, is, a, is an Indian name. It means unique. In Muslim language. I'm sure he's very proud of that name. Oh! I can't tell if that was the apron and the steel steps, but you heard impact, man. Tell you it was painful. Advic Lee has a. Uh, Wow, what a kick by Roddy. A kickboxer. The Undisputed Era know about tag team titles. Bobby, Roddy, and Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, wow, what a knee. All former NXT and Ring of Honor tag team champions. Where is he going? He's rolling all the way to the other side of the ring. Missed his kick there. Oh, here we go with the backbreaker. That's why they call him the Messiah of the backbreaker. Body can break your back in so many different ways. Can't count just one. And here comes who I believe is the most aggressiveness of the undisputed era. It's Kyle O'Reilly. And here we go with a submission already. Kyle O'Reilly is also a submission specialist. He's got Muay Thai in his background, I think. And kickboxing as well. He's a former Ring of Honor world champion. Oh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Champ as well. Oh! You want the impact of that elbow? Now Kyle will look to the outside. I don't know what he's And where is he? Advic going. He's going straight to Roddick. Str oh! I mean, the referee, Adam Cole, better not hit him to get Roddy and Kyle disqualified. Hey, hey, hey! Nothing says anything about Charlotte Lee doing it! down there, gonna get in the ring, look at Adam Cole talking some smack, here comes Kyle O'Reilly, oh, throwing the lights on the outside, that had to hurt, and a nice kick to the chest, oh. Kyle taking it to Lee here on the outside, Kyle O'Reilly has no problem busting your ass up on the outside. Guys got to get in the ring. We're on a seven count here. This is a draw. Both teams get one point. You guys hear that? We're at an eight count. Somebody's calling me on my phone. Oh, it's my friend. Oh, no, guys. About to look like ten count. There we go. There it is. We got a draw, and I'm honestly disappointed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, 
we have some more junior heavyweight action for you guys. We got Kalisto of the Lucha. What is Seth Rollins doing there? Is he gonna be there? We got Kalisto of the Duke of the Lucha out party. Taking on Triente Santos. I think that's Spanish for gold. It's Kalisto and Criente Santos. Next. Looking to pick up some points towards a junior heavyweight title match. And here comes Kalisto. You can hear the Lucha chant in the background. Although that's basically towards Kalisto, I'm sure they're cheering for both these luchadors. I'm sure we're going to have a great Lucha Libre style match here between Santos and Galisto. Oh, what a knee! Jeez, what? Look at him go. Oh, it's not quite that stunning. The Golden Luchador. The former multiple time cruiserweight and walterweight champion in Mexico. He's been to promotions. CMLL and ooh! Sunset good power over the outside. That had power. That's good by Kalisto. And all over, the, all over Mexico. He's also been to Canada a few times. As I was talking about in the cover. The cover by Kalisto. Kick out by Santos. He's been to the CMLL promotion in Mexico, which is the oldest professional wrestling promotion in general. He's also worked for AAA. Triple uh, A. I have no idea how to, how to say those words. That's right. But, but no, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> that is such a mouthful. Okay. And Kalisto. Here in Kalisto. Been on the independence. Oh! Look at Kriente go with the combination of moves. Former cruiserweight and United States champion in the WWE is Kalisto. Now where's Kriente going? He's gonna go coast to coast here. Yes, he does. Wow. I don't know how superstars and other wrestlers can do that. I don't know how wrestlers can do that in general, but that is amazing. That is amazing. And now the cover by Kriente to pick up some points. No. At least it kicks out. Seriously, what is Seth Rollins doing there? <laughs> Seth Rollins looking to pick up points towards a world championship shot. He's not in action tonight, but he will be next week. That's, that's, that, that, I can tell you that. Seth Rollins will be in action next week. I don't, who's he taking on? I got no idea. At least they'll just nip it up. Oh! There just very fast, superstars! Going at it all over the place. All over the place. Don't you just love a good old-fashioned Lucha Libre match? Look at Kalisto go. Look at Kalisto go. You know Kalisto ain't gonna give up. Oh, what a knee! Hey, look at Kalisto! Frankenstein by Kalisto. Santos kicks out. Headlock here by, by a member of the Lucha House Party. <laughs> no, no, went for the drop kick. Oh, oh, Santos walked, blocked it. And a spinning heel kick right to the face of Kalisto. You can see both these men wearing masks. The Lucha Libre code. The masks are a sacred tradition. In Lucha Libre. Very important to them. Very, very important. They wear the mask everywhere. And they're wrestling out in their personal lives, hanging with their kids. I don't know if they wear it during their sleep, but if I was a luchador, I probably wouldn't wear it. I, I don't know if I want to sleep in a mask during the night. Uh, you get hot under there. I'm sweaty. I can't sleep in the hat. And look at this. Standing moonsault. Beautiful. Beautiful standing moonsault by Cridente. And now the Golden Luchador to the top rope. Going for here. What the hell was that? Kriente <laughs> gonna fly! Cross body! Beautiful, beautiful. 
It's a beautiful move by the Golden Luke Cup. Where he's going? He's going back to the top rope. <laughs> he ain't done. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's, it's... Wow! Phoenix! Ernie Phoenix left to the top rope by the Golden Luchador! And oh! Oh, he kicked out! Wow, what a move there by the Golden Luchador! And he's saying, bring it on, but Kalisto's down. down. Back up. Oh! Nice move there by Kalisto. And now Kalisto, we're gonna go! Oh! The kick right to the side of the head by Kalisto! Nakalisto looking for the Luna del Sol. Get out Jenna Rooney there by the member of the Luna House Party. And Kalisto picks up the win. For the uh, Luna del Sol, and he picks Here up that win. Thank Kalisto's. Oh, Lucha, Lucha. Great win for Kalisto as he picks up five points. Great win. From the next, we got some more action from the women's division. The Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch, looks to pick up some points, probably by submission with her disarmor. But if she wants to do that, she's got to get through another submission specialist with arms. The virtuosa, Deanna Perazzo. Who's going to make who tap out? Will it be Lynch making Perazzo tap out? Or will it be Perazzo making Lynch tap out? She's here in SCW. Oh, look at Becky Lynch here with the DD float over DDT. Yana Peraza with her Fujiwara armbar looking to make Becky Lynch tap here tonight. Oh, nice kick by Becky. And look at this. Wow. Beck floater already. Beck floater already. Now look at Becky Lynch. They check this out. We're already with the disarmor. The disarmor by Becky Lynch. It's beyond the What the hell? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> that was the quickest match in SCW history without a shadow of a doubt. Look at this. Beck's motor already. Jesus, this was not Deanna's night. I'm very sorry, Perazzo. I feel for that. I feel bad for you, but... You gotta try a lot harder. <laughs> wow, that was so. How long was that match? Here is your like winner. 17 Becky seconds. Lynch. And here I thought Deanna was gonna take it to Becky. She's the mission specialist. Well, that's what I, I guess that's what happens when you step in the room of Becky Lynch. The Irish last kicker. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we got some more. That's right. JM is looking to redeem himself after he tapped out to AJ Styles last time in SCW. In the very first episode, he's looking to get another win. He's looking to get a win on his belt. He's got to get some points if he wants to be the first television champion. He takes on BCW veteran Cole Quinn. It's next on SCW. Oh, what? Oh, I understand we are 61 minutes. Wow. Look at that, look at that, look how cocky he is. Here we go. JM and Cole Quinn going at it. One on one. This is JM's second match here in SCW. Oh, Jesus! He's the only man to have more than one match now in SCW. And he must be pretty pissed that he uh, lost last time that he tapped out AJ Styles. Oh, he's there. And look at this. Oh! Back suplex in the neck breaker. Pulling off some new moves there. Since that fatal four-way he had. Look at Cole taking it to JM. Oh! That's a big no-no. Oh no, not another one. 
Another DDT from the ropes there within the legs. My goodness. Look at Cole. Seriously, look at Cole. Oh! What is that outfit? Are those suspenders? Seriously, what is that? What is that shade of green he has on? It's so ugly. AM just, I don't know if he's taking his time or he's just doing random things to the point where he won't be pissed anymore. He must be frustrated after that tap out he had. Oh, we got a cover. Oh, 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 Clint kicks out at one. I'm not sure if JN expected this much of a fight out of Cole, but he's going to get it. Cole, no, sh he's, a, he's a, not much of a veteran, but he'll take it to you. He will. He means getting up those big wins, he will do it. Oh, kitchen sink. Knee right to the gut. Oh. Oh, oh, look at the strength of Cole Quinn. Look at the strength. Oh, Jesus. Just throw him to the outside of the ring. Wow. I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that at all. I did not see that coming. I don't think JM saw it coming, too. Now Cole Quinn taking it to Judgment Day. Mason. And here I thought Judgment Day was coming to Cole. I made a mistake. AM seeing stars right now. Look at Cole go. Nice, what you see. Oh, shots. Six. Throwing him back in the ring there. I'm sure the fans don't want to see another count out with three or draw. Oh, that's kind of right, Cole. Another, oh, he went for another knee. Did not work. How cocky he is. I don't think anybody's that cocky. Even Adam Cole is not that cocky. Now what's JM going for here? Oh, Jesus, what an uppercut. Fans chanting RKO. They want an RKO. They want, they want a JM style. Oh, my God. I think Cole may be dead. RKO from the top rope. The cover, and that'll do it. JM picks up five points. Day has arrived in SCW. And Here is your winner, Cole. the Beast, Psychosis J. What a victory for Judgment Day, JM. On our next, we will hear from the EST of SCW, Bianca Belair. What's on her mind? We'll find out next. And there is the EST of not in NXT anymore, but the EST of SCW. Bianca Belair. Look at that long, long ponytail. I don't know what's on her mind. She must be pretty upset right now that she's not in a match. Maybe that's what she's going to cry about. Jesus, third world cesspool of a city. I don't even know where we are I, anymore. I forgot, honestly. I honestly forgot.
Not a game to Bianca Belair. Sorry, I don't like to talk during the promo. I like to just sit here and be quiet. <laughs> Belair upset. Well, now. Bianca Belair, turn it up, SCW. She is here to win. She ain't here to play. She don't need nobody. Well, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event in SCW. Six men from the junior heavyweight division looking to pick up some points. How many points did they win for winning an over the top row battle royal? Because there's no win. So pinball submission rule, you win five. Akira Tazawa, Buddy Murphy, Drew Gulak, Pac, Mustafa Ali, and Enzo Amore. Yes, I said it. Enzo Amore. He's here in SW. I honestly can't believe it either. These six men are looking to pick up some points towards a shot to become the first SCW Junior Heavyweight Champion. Who's going to pick up those points? Yes. Here we go, Battle Royal, and Pac and Enzo go straight after each other. Over the top rope. I'm telling you this right now, who's going to be the first one eliminated? I got no idea. I don't want to make a point like that, because that's just really Oh, Jared Tazawa and Mustafa Ali going at it. And Drew Gulag's about to be eliminated by, by the juggernaut, SCW Junior Area Division, Buddy Murphy. Drew Gulag has gone over the top rope. He can be going bye-bye. SCW, the junior heavyweight division that is. Not what it takes. Oh snap! And Enzo Mori has been eliminated. I didn't see how it happened, but it happened. And I'm not gonna lie in my mind, I was believing that Enzo was gonna be the first one eliminated, so I ain't even surprised. And this Drew Gulak and, and, and Buddy Murphy now help it pock out. Drew Gulak could be going bye-bye. Oh and both men trying to eliminate Drew Gulak, but he is hanging on. Through. Look at now, Pac. Pac. That's who Pac beat to win his second Cruiserweight Championship, Akira Tozawa. Oh! I never Pac goes after. Oh! Face buster by Akira Tozawa. Oh! Gunner Murphy almost went over the top of the quickly back in. Oh! I don't know what Pac is doing there. Oh, what a slap by Drew Gulak. And a chop to the chest on Tazawa. Now look out, Akira Tazawa about to be eliminated. Uh, he could be, he could be. Stop Ali. Woo. Akira Tazawa's gonna hang on. Buddy Murphy just chilling over there. Oh. 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 Everybody's getting punched and kicked. I can't tell who has the advantage. Neck break, suplex. Jesus, there's so much going on right now. What a slap by the rule. I don't even stand here and watch that. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, devil! Oh! Pox eliminated. Clothesline by Mustafa Ali. I can't believe it. Honestly, I thought Pac would be one of the final three. Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy. 
Ooh, Buddy Murphy's very... Oh. Never mind. Oh, what a kick by Buddy Murphy. Drew Gulak maybe rocked to the core there. To Buddy Murphy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Drew's close. Drew's close. Oh, Buddy Murphy's got to try harder than that. Drew Gulak now with the technicality skills. Unlock scoop slam. Oh. Oh, what a kick right to the leg. Oh! Turn, oh! Turn around and smack Buddy Murphy. You got a kick in the face, bro. That's what he did. That's what the battle gets. Should have just went after Mustafa Ali. Could have gotten eliminated right there. He probably had him. And look at Buddy trying to eliminate here. Kazawa is what he gets for chopping him in the chest. That's what he gets for chopping the juggernaut. Woo! He almost had him. He's going to have him. I think Buddy's got him. Never mind. Brainbuster, my God! A very short range stun and drop brainbuster there. I mean, that's what Dynamite calls his brainbuster. He also calls it the Giga Buster. There you go. Fun fact for you guys, right there. Up. Oh, what a battle royal this has been. Someone's gotta go after Mustafa Ali. He's just chilling there. Akira, go drop kick him or something. No way, he didn't go over the top rope. There's a drop kick by Drew Gulak, though. And a horror Kalana by Akira with the power. Oh. And Akira Tozawa has eliminated Buddy Murphy. There goes the juggernaut. Oh, super kick! And Mustafa Ali has eliminated Akira Tozawa. And now it is down to Drew Gulak and Mustafa Ali. Oh. Oh, wow, what a forearm here comes Mustafa Ali. He's got Drew Gulak rocked. Oh. Power bomb. Nice lagger bomb there. Mustafa Ali has got to pick up the pace here. He's got to eliminate Drew Gulak as quickly as he can. Got He's got to wear him down just enough to the point where he gets through over the top rope to the floor. Ali, Ali gets his think he's building momentum. Drew Gulak comes back. He's going to pick up those five points. Drew Gulak trying to pick up five points. Oh, he's close, he's close. Mustafa Ali's got to hang on. Oh, he hangs on. He went over the top rope. Drew still trying to eliminate him. Mustafa Ali hanging on by one arm, ladies and gentlemen. One arm. Oh, oh, he's got two hands on the rope. Oh, Drew Gulak saw him coming. Check this out. Nice. What is that? That looks some sort of a... a two percent. Where is Mustafa Ali going? It's up on the top rope. Woo! Oh, he just gets right back up. Stop Ali. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Away for the whole five four. I don't know how he turned like that, but it doesn't matter. Drew got his knees up. And Justin, I thought that was going to cost him. Stop Ali.
in a battle royal. They got the super kick by Mustafa Ali, eliminating Fufule. Here is your winner, Mustafa Ali. What a great match we had here between these six junior heavyweights. What a main event, what a way to end the show. Thank you for joining us on the second episode of SCW. We'll catch you next time on Supreme Championship Wrestling. Keep it too sweet.